Hello everyone! This is Loopyliss and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we are doing another speed build video today. And this one is all about one of the new additions to Planet Zoo, the Dal Sheep. As you know, the Arctic pack has just been released. They have the Arctic Wolf, they have the Dal Sheep, they have the Polar Bear, and they've got a reindeer just in time for Christmas as well. But I wanted to get started with some Dal Sheep because I had an idea in mind. And I'm very happy with the outcome on this one, and I hope you enjoy this one too, because, oh wow, I think this might be my best one yet, especially when it comes to terraforming and rock work. Yeah, I think you're gonna like the finishing product with this one. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you enjoyed it even more than that, why not subscribe as well if you haven't already, because that is always appreciated too. And you won't miss any more Planet Zoo content by me, because I am always making Planet Zoo content right now. This is my favourite game, this is my favourite game that's probably come out in the last couple of years. Like, I am having so much fun with this. As you might be able to tell, my channel is just swamped with this content. But, you know, I'm very, very happy to keep playing this game. It's, it's brilliant, and I just love the fact that there's an Arctic pack now with more animals to work with. So yeah, very, very happy indeed. Anyway, let's talk about the Dal Sheep. They inhabit the mountain ranges of Alaska, and they are most notable for the male's massive killed horns. Females also have horns, but these are shorter and more slender, and only ever so slightly curved. Dal sheep have cloven hooves, equipped with strong pads. This facilitates movement across rough, rocky terrain, which they're gonna need with this habitat, because there is a lot of rocky terrain in here. As you will see very, very soon, this is gonna be very, very rocky, which is great, because they have the equipment for it. Just to talk about the habitat just a little bit, I wanted this habitat to have three different levels, and you can already see the levels coming into place here. There's the bottom level where they'll probably mostly sleep under there. There's a, like a little cave sort of thing under the cliff edge. And then you go up and you go to the left or the right. There is like two areas where they can travel by there. And then they can go up the steep incline and they can go right to the tippy top if they wish to. Which you can see is right next to where I'm placing that rock now actually. It's right there. And they can actually go all the way around this habitat, which I love because it's great seeing them travel everywhere. It is really, really fun to watch. Also, that little shelter building is up on the workshop as well, and it is included in this habitat. I made it, it's just like a very basic attempt at a little shelter, just a really tiny one. But that was just basically me messing around with the new building pieces, and my goodness, the new building pieces are amazing. I just want to throw that out there right now. They are very, very beautiful and very, very nice to use. And just to say, at this point, after looking at everything that is available with this pack, I do recommend buying it. If you are thinking about it, it is a very, very good pack. And I believe there might be a deal on at the moment with Planet Zoo and this pack. So if you are considering buying Planet Zoo and you are also interested in this pack, I check out Steam today from the, when this video was uploaded. If you're watching a year in advance, then sorry, I'm not sure if there's a deal on right there. But um, if you are watching when I've just uploaded this or a day after, give it a little look. You might see that there is a deal on at the moment if you are interested in buying this game. Because I know some people that have commented say they haven't got it at the moment. So it might be the perfect opportunity just before Christmas because the deals are on. All right, let's go back to the Dal Sheep because we are getting a little bit sidetracked right now. Still on the topic of Planet Zoo, but a little bit sidetracked off this video. Okay, so Dal Sheep are herbivores, though the diets of them vary from range to range. During summer, food is abundant and a wide variety of plants is consumed. Winter diet is much more limited and consists more primarily of dry frozen grass and sedge stems. Some populations use significant amounts of moss during winter as well. The Dal Sheep's coat consists of long, stiff outer guard hairs with an undercoat of fine wool. The sheep molts annually from March to July. The winter coat can be up to five centimeters or two inches thick. And they will need that with the environments that they can find themselves in, because they can go to quite high altitudes. 
They typically inhabit dry, mountainous areas in subarctic regions. They live in alpine conditions, and they can be present at elevations of up to around 6,560 feet. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was that high up, I would also want a coat like this to keep myself warm. Anyway, the Dal Sheep habitat consists of rocky hillsides, steep cliffs, outcrops, and gorges. The species may also be found in alpine meadows, although it is rarely found far from rugged ground in which it can flee from predators. The sheep are often found in windswept areas where snow is prevented from building up too much. During winter, the species often migrates to lower ground where there is less snow. This is kind of why I chose to make this habitat outside of a snowy biome at the moment. I wanted to get a feel of what it's going to look like with the snow and also without the snow. Because I knew that it was going to be really rocky because I know that they like to live on the edges of like the gorges, the mountains, the, the hillsides. So I wanted to get the hillside feel with this. But I also wanted some greenery, so I wanted to make sure that I placed that appropriately when it was time to place it. Because if it was an ultimately covered in snow, it would have been way harder to see where it looked best. And as you can see, I am placing some trees in now. Not too many, but enough, just so that I can put some plants around the trees, as well as the, you know, the rocky sides. I can put some in the crevices. And I think it all works quite well, in snow and without snow. At the end of this video, you will be able to see this habitat with the snow and also without as a full picture. I will have the cinematic go from no snow to snow so you can have a clear view of it. There will also be This will also be up on the workshop, by the way, so if you did want to download it, then feel free to check the description below because there should be a link there. If there is no link there, please yell at me because I forgot to put it in. Hopefully I don't. It should be there. I am just clumsy like that with links sometimes. If there's ever a point where you want to download a habitat and the link isn't in the description, just search Loopy List on the workshop and you should be able to find me. It might also be worth mentioning that this habitat should be suitable for five or six adult Dal sheep. Any more than that, I think that it'll be a little bit cramped for them, or it, it'll say so in the, you know, the panel. But ultimately, I think you can get six in, maybe seven. I tested with about five, I believe, and it looked like there was still plenty of room for maybe two more. Just, just test it out if you do download it, and see what works best for you. Alright, so one more fact for you about Dal sheep. They are social animals, with both males and females living in groups. Mature rams live together in small bands. These bachelor groups typically consist of around 15 individuals. Ewes, lambs, and young rams live in large flocks. Nursery groups are common in these flocks, with one or two ewes keeping an eye on several lambs while the other females feed. Typically, adult males and females only actually come together during the mating season. That's quite interesting. That's one thing that I didn't really know about sheep, and I wonder if that goes across all species of sheep. It seems that they only really hang out with their own gender most of the time, aside from mating season. Dal sheep really are beautiful animals, and I'm very, very happy I could make them a habitat today. And I think this one really, really worked out well. I would love some feedback in the comments. Just finishing up now with the last bits of foliage going down and adding in the little bits of rocks that needed to just be filled in just a little bit, just to fill in like the bottom edges of the bigger rocks. And here are the Dal sheep. Here we go. And they wander every single part of this habitat from the ground to the tippy top of the little mountain. They absolutely love wandering everywhere in this habitat and I love watching them because sometimes they'll just run down. See that little round just ran down? It is amazing. And here it is in snow as well. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this habitat. I think it might be one of the best pieces I've done so far on this channel. But maybe you have a different opinion now. Maybe you think I could have done something a little bit differently. Feel free to let me know in the comments. I always appreciate all of the feedback that you guys give. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now.
Bye-bye.